We are here at Beaver Creek, the 34th annual Beaver Creek Arts Festival. And let's just go ahead and handle the website right up front so that you can discover the artists and the features and maybe a product online that you'd like to have in your home or office. And uh, with me right now, it is t it is Tom Martin. What's the website? Right Art, up front. Artfestivals.com is where you'll find the rest of the shows here in Colorado. So we're checking out again. It is the Beaver Creek Art Festival. And Tom Martin, he is a bronze artist, large scale, small scale, known as Luna Bronze. We're standing on the bridge of Beaver Creek, right over Beaver Creek, the creek itself. Tell us about your work and how, you, how this all comes together. Uh, we started the business about 25 years ago. We do a lot of custom chandeliers, railings and in bronze. We have a team of about 40 people based out of Utah. Uh, the artwork is just kind of the fun stuff that we get to do. Uh, from large stuff to small stuff, we do a lot of custom work and a lot of commission work, so basically what everybody wants we can do. Luna Bronze, okay, we're talking custom lining. Luna, as you know it, means moon. We're getting the sun to kind of highlight this feature of some of these sculptures all along the bridge, both sides. This moose, how heavy is it? Uh, about 2,000 pounds. It's life size. So it's wow. close to what we would weigh in the and what you would find here in Nature and Beaver Creek, not uncommon. Some of the other sculpture pieces that we see around here, smaller scale moose, we see bears, we see people, bears with fishing poles. Uh, some of the themes in your work, how, how, let's describe that for them. And basically, we, we try and take a lot of nature stuff, but we have a lot of very different styles. We have some modern stuff, contemporary stuff, um, primarily because we have the whole plan of it. So we do everything in house. We can sculpt it, cast it, mold it, and give you the finished product that you want. How do we get a moose home? Uh, basically, we deliver it in a truck or on a trailer, uh, and then usually we'll crane it into a location, oh, wow. depending on where it needs to go in the yard. Wow, in the yard. This is not going in the house. Not quite, not yet. Is this your first time doing a Beaver Creek Art Festival? Uh, we've done Beaver Creek for probably five years now. So what's, you know, what's the feeling like every time you return to Beaver Creek? Uh, it's just great. I mean, the atmosphere is great with the artists. With, you know, artfestival.com is really good to work with. Uh, as a staff, the, the people who come through are good people. Um, and the weather's great for the most part. Yesterday, I'm sure it was a challenge setting up, but you're under a covered bridge. I was here. somewhat protected. Yeah, I was here at 7, so nobody was here when I was here. <laughs> That's uh, a good one of the first ones in. One of the good starts. And setting up does happen quite early. It's been going over 34 years. We're looking at the return of the Beaver Creek Art Festival in its original location. Beaver Creek, Ty Diaz with Tom Martin and Luna Bronze on Beaver Creek itself. Stop by, check this out. We have more interviews to do, so we'll be right back. Thanks a lot. Bye.